R's of networking. Let me tell you what the three R's stand for. R1 is radar, R2 is recall, and R3 is reward. Here's how it works. The interesting thing about using Mark is like uh, the first time you use him, it's like he's been a part of your company uh, for years. Uh, he instantly recognizes what your solutions do, what your company is all about, uh, instantly has chemistry with your leadership, and is able to leverage that chemistry into a really entertaining uh, event. And his soft skills presentation has consistently rated one of the best presentations at our conferences. The beauty of soft skills is that you don't have to do much to make sure those scales tilt in your favor. My role when I'm the moderator or the MC of a conference, which I love by the way, is to be, I guess, the audience's voice on the stage. I'm their friend. I'm asking their questions. But above even that, my role is to allow your management team to shine. If you have executives up there, you want them to sparkle. And so you bring in an outsider, whether it's myself or, or anybody else, to ask those credible outside questions. And then the executive looks great. The executive looks like the personality that they are. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, Miami. Uh, uh, South Beach, bringing the heat, uh. <laughs> Can y'all feel that? Can y'all feel that? Jig it out, uh. We are all in sales. From the minute you walk out of your front door in the morning to the minute you get home at night, you are selling yourself. You sell your ideas, you sell the way you dress, the way you appear, everything is being judged by other people. We started working with Mark a few years ago and he's completely transformed our corporate events. He brings a level of energy that is just wonderful. Um, he, the tidbits of wisdom that he brings in terms of business interaction uh, are really valuable and goes over really, really well with a global crowd. I mean, I've got three unread messages here in just the last few minutes and I've half a mind to open them up right now and read them while I'm talking to you because I think I could probably get away with it. When that red light flashes, it just calls me. I love you. What? <laughs> what? I'm just with these people. An audience is, I guess, like a living, breathing entity. It, it has uh, a life and a soul to it, and you've got to give that audience what it wants. And you can guarantee that an audience does not want an hour-long PowerPoint-driven presentation where the slides are filled with words that they can't read and the speaker is droning because he's the most senior executive. My feeling is this, if you have a senior executive and you want him to shine, give him a different channel. Put him in a conversation, in a, in a panel discussion. Allow his personality to shine through. People like to be acknowledged for their achievements, and a business card is, is a list of achievements. It's your history. So what do we do? Very simple. You just basically take the card and give it a moment of your time. If you can comment on it, you get big points. Oh, I see you've got the number seven in your phone number. Huh, one of my favorite numbers. A keynote speaker really wins when he or she gives the audience something to take away, something to use. I mean, it's all very well. You can get the mountain climbers and the people that have sailed around the world. Great stories. But what do you do with that on Monday morning? So my theory all the way through creating my keynote speech on networking and influence and soft skills was to give people something they can use instantly. And my trick is to attach humor all the way through. If you attach humor to a key message, People remember it. And, you know, I've spoken now in front of over 80,000 people, obviously, not at the same time. And I see people again when I return to events the next year or the year after, and they quote stuff back to me. They've remembered. That really means a lot to me. This guy is the reason I got into the whole business. This is Nick Barley. Nick, how did it happen? 
Well, that happened when you interviewed me on a TV show. Uh, what was it called? Money uh, something? The Money Channel. The Money I, Channel. I can't remember. Nobody watched it. <laughs> it's true. And so it was a safe haven for me to come on and be interviewed for you. And you. You, you asked me to come on to, it was an Oracle event, wasn't That's it? That's right. To Conquer. go on stage and basically do the same thing we had just done. Because I thought you'd be fantastic. And you are fantastic in front of these big audiences. So uh, it it's great. the right things. A really successful conference has to have a heart. People who attend need to feel that they truly belong, that when they leave, they actually miss it.